Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy this reading. Keep in mind, it's a general weekend reading because some of the messages may or may not be for you. Cuz, why do I say cuz? This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgo, let's take a look and see what the weekend love messages are for you. Um, let me see, wow, happy April. <laughs> oh my gosh, April Fool's Day is on Saturday. So um, March 31st, April 1st, and April 2nd. All right, let's take a look here, Virgo. Also, if you wanna book a personal reading with Casey, there's a link in the description box below this video. So go ahead over there and take advantage of his inexpensive and affordable reading offers that he has available for you. Okay, and don't forget to become a member of house of virgo so you can get free readings when i do the live streams on sunday all right getting to know each other virgo okay so you're so you and another person are going to be talking on friday um revealing your innermost selves to each other having some good conversation opening up you've also got passion here for saturday and oh they gave me two cards this could be the one. Release your ex. All right, this is just too much, right? Virgo, you're done with an ex, okay? You're getting to know somebody perhaps over this weekend. You realize that this person could be your person and you release your ex. You're like, oh, I don't know if it just hits you out of the blue. And it's like, oh, damn. <laughs> Virgo, you let go of a past person or whatever energy is left over with a past person. I feel like you're connecting with someone over this weekend. Okay, so let's see. Friday, you've got the hermit, the fool coming out of your quiet, isolated place and opening yourself up, taking a risk, getting to know someone. You get the emperor here. So Aries, possibly for some of you, but this is someone who like really... <laughs> Um, what's this phrase they're giving me? What the heck? B blows your socks off <laughs> or blows you? I don't know. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. You guys, you know why I act like this? It's because of you all. You make me crazy. You make me get into like a super triple X version here on this channel. It's not me. It's you. And I, I am, I'm no, I have no liability, no accountability for this. Okay. <laughs> so Virgo. <clears throat> excuse me you're doing something a little like off the cuff here over the weekend for you um starting on friday i feel like i don't know virgo you do a little like inner thinking about something and then you might kind of be unsure if you want to connect with someone or spend time with someone on friday or meet up with someone and you kind of go in your head a little bit and you're like hmm all right let me see uh, how long is it going to take me to get ready? What am I going to wear? Um, let's see. What do I have to do? Where can we meet? <sighs> do I have to make the plans? You go, you're in your head a little bit. And then finally, you're just like, F it all. And you go and you connect with this person because they're showing up as the emperor. And this person is showing up. Uh, it could be a Virgo too, for some of you. It could also be an Aquarius. You could three major arcana. So, um, you know, either way, the person shows up as someone who is very thoughtful a um, little bit of an introvert, just a tad bit, when they think about things, I feel like they kind of have a little bit of both, you know, like they're a little bit of a, a little extrovert, a little intro introvert, ambivert. They have access to both sides of the brain. And this, but this person's also like free, likes to take risks, likes to go on adventures, likes to travel. So I, I don't know, Virgo, I just, but they have, they're very intellectual too so they like to um you might be going somewhere with them or meeting or there might be something you guys get to know each other on a hike or you go traveling or you meet up somewhere um or walking or doing something together and this feels like on a friday so if you have any if you've been invited out somewhere on a friday virgo um well i mean it looks like it's a good time to do it it looks like because this, this person shows up like in that emperor energy, energy masculine or feminine I mean, they just kind of show up like really um, strong, you know, and with leadership and maybe even a little bit intimidating, but it's attractive. It's attractive. There's a playful energy with this person. Oh, yeah. This person, they might be a little well known or they might have people who kind of, I don't know, they're a winner. I'm just hearing this person shows up. They're a winner. And you might just find that out. You might be like, wow. This is the real deal. This person's like, I mean, they're like, you really, 
you might go out with go out with them somewhere and they get recognized when you're out and you're like what's this little secret people know you who are you <laughs> i don't feel like somebody kind of i don't feel like they really tell you i feel like they kind of keep it within um i know yesterday virgo you had like you were meeting a celebrity so maybe it's over this weekend who knows are there you getting asked out by this person it looks like really positive for friday and then going into saturday virgo you got passion okay i'm gonna spend like five minutes on each day here i don't want to make the reading too 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 long okay passion you got the eight of swords some of you still have a thing for your partner in jail that your partner's in prison whether that's like literal prison figuratively mental prison um whatever it might be some of you might still have some passions um or your heart is still singing you're still whistling for another person okay saturday i feel like this comes up oh man virgo it's kind of like <laughs> some of you are realizing you need like an emotional rescue from this person that you have this passionate feeling for um or you're still trapped or stuck and you're trying to get away from yeah so virgo like because the ex energy is here whoever you were attached to this ex person it was strictly passion there was it, not that that's a bad thing but i just feel like you might come to terms with that that it, there was no um cause a, cause a lot of mental stress okay and the queen of swords like virgo i feel like you get clear with yourself on saturday about someone that you still have like an attachment to but it's a passionate attachment it's like I don't think it's going to prevent you from going out with someone new or getting to know somebody else. But I just feel like Saturday is kind of like, you know, hmm, either somebody gives you some clarity about um, someone you had a strong passion for. You might talk to a friend or someone over the weekend and be like, yo, I met this really awesome person. And I'm just like, wow. And a, a friend may say to you, okay well what about the other person and you might still be kind of like i don't know and your friends coming in at that queen of swords king of swords energy and they're just basically like listen to me cut that shit out <laughs> go for the new um you, you've met someone and this person seems to be like it just fits you like a puzzle piece or you're equally yoked in some way there's some kind of i'm getting that yoke energy with all this yellow and white there's something here and i feel like you have a friend who t who tells you like get over it build yourself a bridge and get over this seriously <laughs> there you go eight of cups yep you've got somebody here who tells you and then you get the clarity you know like keep it moving somebody tells you let go of that x person and i feel like on sunday oh wait I still have a couple minutes left here. All right, let me just say, also your friend says to you, Virgo, listen, okay, fine. You still have the passion but the other, you, for your other person, but your other person isn't doing anything about it. Even if you told them to go away and you didn't want to hear it from them anymore, they should have at least tried to, to tried you know, um, to say something or try to write you an email or try to make a connection or they didn't even do that or they didn't keep pursuing and they were willing to let you go. Your friend's like, then just put them on the back burner and just go with this and see what happens. Point blank period. Okay. They're not, so you don't really, you might have a friend that's just kind of like, I mean, they're giving you truth. I don't necessarily feel like they're telling you to like completely cut that past person out of your life. I feel like they're just telling you to take a time out and open yourself up to meeting other people and just see what happens, right? Okay, so I feel like that is the strongest message for Saturday. It doesn't mean you're committing in either direction. It just means you're keeping yourself open because you don't know, Virgo. You don't know what's gonna happen. And you gotta keep those, those wheels moving, right? okay and it looks like on sunday you finally decide yeah you're you're cutting your cutting your losses singles of pringle nine of pentacles release that x this person here could be the one that you've been waiting for okay and it, it, you're only going to know if you actually listen to your friend <laughs> or whoever it is that's tell, like giving you a little bit of um insight and because you've got somebody here who's not really connected to your emotions or your feelings with another person they're on the outside looking in and they're giving you sense common sense and logic um so it looks to me like you cut your losses on sunday sunday you clarify to yourself or you deem yourself 
like like you acknowledge it actually like you're not with someone okay but you might your heart might still be with them therefore you might feel like you're still with them but you acknowledge that you're grounded and you acknowledge to yourself you know what just because my heart feels it we're not together and i am single and i am going to go and connect again or try to make another connection with you know i'm just letting go of the past person i'm just done that's it because somebody didn't try they really didn't they you know they they just they just didn't they might have tried for a minute but you know uh, i don't know I don't know what the deal is with the next person. I don't know if they're even that type of person. Um, they might not be. And who wants somebody like that who can't even just stand up for what they love? And maybe they just didn't love you enough. Whatever the situation is, it doesn't matter. What matters is what you're doing. Now, let me see. What else is going on here? So it looks like, Virgo, you kind of come out of hermit mode a little bit here. There you go. Virgo, come on yeah you're like yeah i'll take the cup yeah i'll take the love offer this this can be somebody who's making an offer a proposal but this can also be someone who's receiving it as well and toasting you know so i mean this is definitely like action i virgo i hope that you're doing this i hope that you are just like taking stepping out of your comfort zone and taking a risk and taking the lead in your life and just saying you know what all right, I don't have to cut this person off 100%. I don't have to, like, quit chocolate 100%. I'll just stash them away and try to get used to not going to need it, like a little crutch, and just get yourself back up on the horse, you know, and um, just kind of, like, see what happens with other people. And if it's meant to be, it will be. Oh, my God, you got the Ten of Cups, Virgo. You deserve that, Virgo. That's not, listen, whether you want to be married or just long-term companionship, happy, contentment, joy, whatever your desired outcome, you know, it, 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 you can have it all here. And this is what I feel like. And, and I feel like if that's what you are looking for, you know, that's the rainbow there. You Go for it. Do it, Virgo. Nothing's going to happen if you're still holding on to past people. If you're still s sitting by the phone waiting for somebody like, to finally get up off their ass and say something, how much time has passed? It's too late. It's just a little too late, a little too long, and I can't wait. Does anybody know who sings that? Go ahead and leave it in the chat. So, um, <laughs> Virgo, I just feel like this weekend is a real kind of wake-up call for you where, you know, you're just like, you know what? House of Virgo is right about this one. I'm out of here, MF first. And you cut the cord, and you just get moving, Virgo. And that's it. Some of you might even give a little, you know, you might you might give a little shade. Some of you might actually say something to somebody. You might take that one last look back and just be like, this is done. I'm out. I'm no longer waiting. I'm no longer pursuing. I'm not hanging around. Um, some of you might not. You might just take that knife and just get in gear and just slice it and walk out the door and not say a damn thing. It's really up to you. <clears throat> however you want to handle it. I'm not going to tell you what to do but the whole point is you got the sword you know you got you got your um you got your sword there and you're just in gear finally stepping back um look this kind of reminds me of like someone who's at, at bat waiting to swing you know and here comes that wheel of fortune ball and you're like whing <laughs> you're just gonna hit you're hitting a home run out of the park here on sunday seriously you know you're prepared you're you're like swing bada bada you're ready to go you're you're knocking it out of the park you're done sunday is like yep you realize what you're worth what who you are what your value is you come to terms with you deserve better and somebody's showing up here and you know even if this doesn't turn out to be your person for life somebody that you're getting to know that's okay because these are stepping stones for some of you to just kind of like shake off that energy you know little taylor swift shake shake it off kind of stuff or is that mariah carey i don't know but you know shaking it off virgo that's kind of what i feel like is happening this weekend i don't know how many times i could say that um but yeah it's time to just foot loose and fancy free virgo now we got a foot cut loose foot loose 
Okay, open relationship, no commitment, casual openness. That's what I'm saying. So you connect with someone, and, and Virgo, this is kind of like a little precursor for, for those of you who've been in a little bit of a hermit mode. It's just to get your, your palate wet. You know, it's just to get your feet in the water and try to get your sea legs again, accepting dates, um, going out and meeting other people. Virgo, you've changed, you're a different person, you're accepting of yourself, you're, you're, you're like, I'm not saying that you're looking for a casual, non-committal relationship, but maybe you just want to date for a little while and keep your options open right and i feel like you need to do that because <laughs> some of you are getting all rusty your bones are rusty you don't know what's going on you know it's been a long time you don't know what to expect and some of you just you know get out there and uh, companionship especially just to connect with someone and have a good relationship okay past life knowing deja vu past love right that's what all this is about really just letting go of the past that eye creeps me out that eye is just kind of like i don't know i feel like if you like zoomed in on like a keyhole that's what you would see <laughs> somebody could be watching you someone from your past keeping an eye on you uh, watching you move on i don't know that shit just that creeps me out why <laughs> that's really creepy that's got like psychopath stare in it <laughs> Oh, I don't like it. And I love serial killer documentaries, but I don't know. That's creepy. Okay, let me see what else you got here. Ooh, you've got soulmate, Virgo. Okay, great connection, relationship. So, oh, Virgo, that's what you need. You need a soulmate connection with someone. Nothing difficult. No more problems. Look, a lot of the times, the problems that you're having, it's not like you're a messed up person. Maybe you just kept choosing the wrong people, Virgo. Uh, did you ever just think to yourself, maybe you're not the one with the problem. Maybe everyone else around you is an asshole. I mean, <laughs> sometimes you just kind of got to like stop blaming yourself all the time. Take accountability for the things that you know for a fact you were wrong about or you made mistakes, but don't own everybody else's shit. Virgo, you know, everybody has the potential to be an a-hole. Let them and don't own it and don't try to fix it or try to help them not be an a-hole. Just leave them alone and just be like, oh, not for me. That's not for me. Okay. All right. Your career is showing up and um, I guess that's an extra message for you over the weekend. Some of you are like, I mean, who the hell walks around with a briefcase? I mean, okay, maybe that's going to carry a laptop or something. But this is like so 70s. This is something about your dad. What the? <laughs> something about, did your dad, if you had a father that carried a briefcase, like back in the day, in the 80s or the 70s, or you seen him with a briefcase or suitcase, but this is career. I don't know. Something to do with a father's briefcase or a suitcase showing up here over this weekend this is a very specific message maybe you see it it may be your career you're carrying on the business are you doing what your father did um some of you might be like you know it's just typical virgo fashion i mean you have a weekend of like dating and spending time with friends and having a good time and of course your money's on your mind, Virgo, and your work and your career, and that's probably what you talk to people about, what's going on at work all the time. <laughs> because as I'm saying, you got fun times and parties, and Virgo be like sitting there at the bar having a couple of drinks or out with friends having dinner and uh, like kind of lost in their own thoughts and friend would be like, what's going on? Are you, are you all right? Yeah, no, I'm just thinking about my schedule next week. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got... I, I, and your friend's like, um, hello, uh, are you going to eat that? Um, are you going to drink? We just got, we're already on our second round of drinks. Like, what are you doing? Are you coming? Let's go. Oh, no, I know. No, no, no. You're right. You're right. Virgo, <laughs> thinking about your schedule. Put your schedule away, Virgo, this weekend. Like, leave work in the office. Leave work at home. Put your schedule away. It can wait. It'll still, still be there when you get back. Okay, Virgo. <laughs> I love you. You know why? Because I understand you. I get you. That's why, I, that's why I have a Virgo channel. All right, Ice Queen, Divorcee, Mother, Discernment. Okay, what's going on there? I feel like these are some extra messages coming through here. What's, what's up with the Ice Queen? Some of you, that's your past person. Ice Queen, Ice King, Cold MFR. Very, 
you might be like finally divorcing this person or you're in the process of going through a divorce this person's iced you out or you're icing them out and um you're getting yourself back out there definitely some of you are that yeah definitely icing that person out like you know you can't control me anymore and, and my thoughts and my emotions and my feelings are no longer going to be controlled by this creeper in the keyhole stalking me <laughs> this person can't control you that's why they're like this that's why they're like keeping that one eye on you um what does this card say releasing taking back your power kinky in the bedroom virgo all right you know what i just look i i just feel like the overall message for you virgo is just have fun this weekend accept that that date that offer don't take it too seriously keep your cool virgo just relax have a couple of drinks and laugh you know and, and just don't be all like hey are you looking to get married because that's what i want can i see your resume like it's a first date just relax you're just trying to get to know someone and see if there's a spark or see if there's a vibe that's all is required we don't need to get all the details right away <laughs> okay yep here's the travel card again so you know like i said last time I, I felt like you guys there was some travel going on um there's definitely plains and palm trees plains and palm trees still showing up here it's also about enjoyment and acting like you're on vacation oh damn here's the twin flame well, you had soulmate and you had twin flame okay you're icing out your twin flame who was trying to control you and they're not letting you go but you're done with them um and this is the positive twin flame with the spiritual alignment and the effortless relationship, but it also says karmic. So I could be positive or negative. Must have been negative if there was control and you're icing somebody out or they were icy to you. Okay. Karmic and, and the negative aspect of the twin flame. Virgo's like, I'm out of here. Separating. I'm going to go explore other options. See who else is out there. Um, because for whatever reason, either somebody wasn't trying to make something work or it's just done and dead in the water. And it's time to, uh, like, they didn't come with the bloody stump. So that's that. Not everybody's capable, Virgo. Yeah, there was a lack of union here okay in the reverse somebody was not trying to have a serious relationship marriage or partnership okay virgo's like i'm gonna turn this around in my life yes i'm gonna find my um my infinity lover i'm gonna create that infinity love with somebody i love it virgo i don't know why i keep shuffling these i'm actually gonna end this now but I feel like one more card for the weekend. And I know, like, I understand that this is not going to be for all of you. Because uh, all of you are, a lot of you are men and you're not beauty queens. So you could be connecting with someone who's like, ooh la la. Um, or that could be you this weekend. It's like, I'm shining like a star on stage. Feeling adored. Um, but I know a lot of you are like, I'm not in hermit mode. But I, I see a lot of you in the chat. I read your stuff. And I see you. I'm never going to meet anybody. Um, I'm not even, I'm not talking to anybody. I'm not going out. And I, I see you guys in there. And I want to tell you, that's fine. Take your time. Get like, suck it up. Get outside. Get out there and do something. You don't even have to accept a date. You should, but you don't even have to. Just get out and be around people. Start living your life. Um, and if I don't care if you do it once a month. If that's all you can do, do it once a month, right? You'll feel good about it. If you can do two, twice a month, if you could do like whatever works for you, do what's best for you. But I definitely feel like, you know, the point is not for you to really this weekend find the one. The point is for you to just get back out there and connect. When someone asks you out on for a date, take your time to get to know somebody and then just enjoy the journey, not the, not the end, the outcome. That the problem with relationships fall apart when people start dating is because people are so focused on the outcome instead of enjoying each other and letting letting the, the relationship t you know take its course and, and the way it's meant to go right if we're so focused on okay too attached being too attached to, to the outcome in other words like i don't feel like it's i'm not that like i'm always right in between i don't feel like it's good to float down the river with no oars <laughs> like the fuck 
who does that that's like like what are you doing at least keep one or just in case but I, I don't feel like that's safe but i also don't feel like you should be so damn rigid that you never open yourself up like you kind of have to like segue into things in your life right so if you're connecting with someone over the weekend or someone asks you out go for the fun don't worry about how it's going to end up because you can get hit by a bus a bus tomorrow and it won't matter <clears throat> but at least you can say hey at least I had a good time. At least I, I was happy. At least I enjoyed myself. And I feel like you will with someone here. I, I don't feel like it's going to be a negative time, you know, but it's, it's all about you, right? All right. I'm done. I'm done. I've over, I've overspoke. So if you want to get a personal reading, don't forget, click the link below, book a reading with Casey. He's very inexpensive and affordable and has lots of hours. And also join my channel. I'll be here on Sunday. Uh, 1 p.m. Eastern and like I, I keep saying at some point I'm going to open up a night slot for all you um, oil burners to join me at night and um, to do uh, personal mini readings so if you become a member of my channel you'll get them for free you could pop in the members only live stream ask away I'll pull a card answer whatever you want um, all right you guys so that's going to be that have a fantastic weekend I love you Virgo remember I always got your back and I will see you all back here on Sunday all right take care